I read books that are more substantial than people might imagine. So I like the best book I can get my hands on. Two examples that I've read recently that I have thought are so fabulous. And one I would qualify as a beach read and one I probably wouldn't. So I just, when I was on tour, I read The Plot by Jean Hanf Corlitz. She's the woman that wrote the book that The Undoing was based on. Okay, and she also wrote a book that I loved called Admissions. The plot, in my opinion, is probably a perfect novel. I think, I thought it was so ridiculously good. And it was so awesome for me to be a writer on book tour, to be reading about a writer. And it's about a writer who steals the, one of his students' plots and then becomes famous. I mean, it is so terrific. And her sentences are so beautiful. So, and I would call that a beach book because you are turning the pages as fast as you can. It's got a little bit of a thriller a aspect, but it's just so engrossing. And I feel like a beach read has to be something that you do not want to put down because there are so many ways to be distracted. The other book that I read this year that I thought was absolutely phenomenal was Great Circle by, Ma by Maggie Shipstead. Great Circle, one of the best books, definitely de my top book of the year, for sure. One of the best books I've read in recent times. Not a beach book because you really, you know, it's long and, you know, it has different sections and you really have to pay attention. And I would call that more of an indoor book. Mm -hmm. So for me, like indoor books are the big books that you really should be reading indoors when you can concentrate, not a book that is so engrossing that you can take it out to the beach with you or the pool. Thank you.